Good evening. I'd like to call to order this uh, regular meeting of the Stone Monroe Falls City Schools Board of Education on Monday, October 21st, 2024 at 6 p.m. Roll call, please. East Jenkins. Here. Sheehan. Here. Suodonic. Here. Wind. Here. Benzel. Here. Item C. Wish to rec recommend that the Board of Education approve the settlement agreement as presented. Is there a motion? So moved. Well, we, I'm supposing we're on two different pages. Are we talking C? C, yes. C, okay. We second. Okay. Questions or comments? Yes, I do. Can you explain this? Yes. Or somebody explain this? Yeah. So we were basically getting sued for not following um, Robert's Rules of Order or the Sunshine Law. This was a couple cases, um, whether it was not notifying meetings correctly, misuse of executive sessions, and or the minutes not being clear uh, representation of what has been said. Um, so moving forward, we have rectified some of this um, moving forward. And I'm correct to read here that this is costing the district $6,610.50? No, it's $1,500. All right, is, so what are those other numbers? And were those waived? Or is this, let's see, it says, to be attributed to the potential statutory and post penalty of $4,750 to be attributed to the attorney's fees altogether for a full settlement of 6610.5. Yeah, so some of this was covered by insurance, and the fifteen hundred dollars was not covered by insurance. All right, so so how much was covered by insurance? Um, the difference. I don't. I don't All right, so All but take sixty six ten fifty minus fifteen hundred. Yes. And so the balance of that was covered from insurance. That's correct. It says right on the settlement for four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, and um, for those who don't know, Mr. Ames has done this with a lot of school districts. Um, you know, I know Avon Lake is one of them. So it's only we can learn from our mistakes moving forward. And then on the minutes, I do link the YouTube video. So if somebody wants to go back and rewatch the YouTube video off the minutes, they could find it off of that. Can you tell us the time frame that we were sued for? Not off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I could get that to you, though. I think it was like um, July of 2023 um, to maybe January, December or January. But I'll, I'll get those exact dates. Okay. Roll call, please. East, East Jenkins? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Sue Aye. Wind? Aye. Benzel. I and D. I I have a make a I have something to say on this, um, and it didn't mention anything about discussion, so I was not prepared to discuss anything at this point. But I do want to get some clarity. This is a second reading, which means our next meeting would be a third reading. Is at the point of the third reading? Is that where there is discussion and a vote? Yes. All right, well, it's my understanding our next meeting is November 4th, which is a work session. And according to the OSBA guidelines, there is no action to be taken at a work session. So are we going to push this to the November 16th meeting? We take actions at work sessions that are necessary. And who decides that? All the time. We voted at our last work session. Yeah, and I have a question about that. Was that an illegal vote? Okay. Because based so on, ba I'm speaking, enough. I'm speaking, please. I know, but this is, I'm, you're I'm, making I'm this speaking, please. You are off I the am discussion. speaking, you know please. What? You are interrupting chair. me. No, I am the chair. I get the floor. You're taking no, the, I have the floor. No, you're taking I, this. No, you asked me a question. I have you're the taking floor. this discussion. So it says here an OSBA that no formal action is taken during a work session, and you throw, throw this into my face every time I try to speak. I'm taking a recess right now. Thank you. There's no vote on a recess? Do we need a vote to go? You can just take a recess whenever you want. Uh, we, we should take a vote, yes. Okay. <laughs> is there a motion to take a recess? <laughs> so moved. Second. Roll call, please. East Jenkins? Aye. Sheehan? No. 
Sudonic? Aye. Wind? Aye. Benzel? Aye. Five minutes, thank you. Told you there'd be fireworks tonight. <laughs> All right, we are back in order. The issue at hand, we don't, and the issue at hand is just that this is a second reading of this policy. And a question for Dr. Gould, have you had any discussions with administrators or staff regarding what, number one, are they aware that we have this type of policy? Are they aware of what that would entail for them and what kind of comments have they made? We haven't had a formal discussion in regards to this. Staff are aware that this policy is in place. Um, and as we look at this policy, it dates back to 2014. And we've also had discussion at our policy committee in regards to this, but we are waiting on legislation from the state uh, because there will be new legislation that will be coming. Okay, and I still wanna get some clarity. Pam had the floor for 10 minutes to tout all the benefits of taking this away. I'm trying to get clarification on the next step at the point that this is gonna be voted on. So I think it's very pertinent. That's so again, my question is, we are at a third reading, which is supposed to be a work session. Based on the OSBA guidelines, it says no formal action is taken during a work session. So are we either canceling the work session or are we delaying this to a third reading on November 16th? Well, we have no intention of canceling the work session to answer your first question. All right, which goes back to another topic. Well, we're staying All on right. topic at a time. Well, I have the floor. I, I'm understanding, but um, I'm I think the last I read topic. my constitution, I'm an elected official and I'm able to free. Yes, to speak. but I am the chair and I run this meeting. That's part of the job. Of you the don't president. control the meeting. You may run it, but you don't control it. Yes, but so here's my other this point. Is why we got sued? We don't stick to the. Here's agenda. my other point. To the topic. Can I make a motion to amend our agenda and go into executive session for the purpose of? Um, under 121.22 G5, matters required to be kept confidential by state law or reg regulation in order to confer with bro board council. No, this is not a, this is okay. not an executive a the, session. We this have is a motion not, on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Th this is not an executive we session need to item. We confer with legal counsel, in my opinion. And that's all it takes is one person wants to confer with legal counsel all right. So I can't finish my point. Who did the second? Perry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, roll call, please. East Jenkins? Aye. Sheehan? No. Suodonic? Aye. Wind? Aye. Benzel? Aye. We are in executive session at 719. 719. And there will be, well, well, there won't be, there, there will be public comments after this, but there won't be any votes taken. We are out of executive session at 7.39 p.m. And we will move on to comments from the audience. Excuse me, I'm not done. Um, we are done. We're moving on. No, I am this not time, finished. We welcome any additional comments and concerns citizens wish to bring before the Board of Education. All comments must be directed to the entire board and be no longer than three minutes. We will listen to and consider your remarks, but there will be no conversation aside from clarifying questions. If you are seeking a direct response or further information, we ask that you submit your request in writing. Please begin your remarks with your first and last name. Yeah, it's Mike Sheehan. I'm an elected board member, unable to speak at a board meeting. My question is, um, I understand that there is going to be a potential vote at a work session to eliminate religious options for children to leave school during the day. Um, it's my understanding that a work session, there is no vote taken. So how can this, how can there be a vote taken at a work session? And also it's my understanding that a work session is also something where no public comments are allowed. So how can they, how can we vote on something this significant and we don't let the, 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 um, the public speak? Thank you. Okay. 
Can I have part of your time? Yeah. No, you get your own three minutes. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Matthew Kabanek, um, other than this ridiculousness that we see right now, and, and this is crazy, and I think I, I understand why this is happening, and I can tell you that for the last two years, well, for the last year anyway, uh, ever since Mr. Sheehan uh, took his seat, um, that he seems to be very stunned about what happens in board meetings when he gets here. And I've sort of made an observation that he's not in the loop that at least you three are, and maybe Ms. Jenkins over here. He seems to always be on the outside, even when it comes to drafting policy or something to that effect, which is huge policy when it comes to the schools. He never seems to really know until it hits this piece of paper, this agenda, and nobody really brings him to the loop. And you guys wonder why we're having a night like this where he's just trying to get questions answered. My question, I guess, for the board, and I appreciate, Ms. Benzel, that you find that paper a lot more interesting than me. I'm taking notes. My question is, why does it seem like he's never included in the big decisions when it comes to drafting or talking about these big things? For instance, this school levy. How did that number get arrived at? Because he doesn't seem to know. He wasn't part of that decision. Uh, when it came to all this DEI policy, there was stuff drafted that he was not included in that drafting process. We shouldn't have nights like this. Everybody talks about having pride in this school district, but we're sitting here acting like a bunch of damn children. There wasn't a cop here before. There is now. Really, we're to this point. Here's my advice. My question is, why isn't he, he uh, in included? My advice is, grow the hell up, because we're paying a lot of money for you people to sit up here and act like daycare. 